What's up guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title below, it's, this is gonna be a pick a card about what do people um, admire most about you. I'm gonna be doing um, two different piles. I got the Light Sears uh, deck, and then I got the um, Golden Will um, deck. So, pile, pile one and pile two, I'll do that. The Light Sears is pile one, and the Golden Will is pile two. Um, I'm a time um, stamp it. And yeah, whichever one you're feeling most drawn to, power one or power two, okay? So yeah, if you want to see what people admire most about you, just continue to keep watching, okay? All right, power one. Um, if you chose the Light Sears Tarot deck, this is your reading, okay? You're gonna see what people admire most about you, okay? So let's just see what people admire most about you, all right? And I hope everybody's having a good day. Thank you for um, even just viewing my channel, checking it out. I really do appreciate it. Um, you're just taking the time out to watch the video. So yeah, let's just see what people admire most about you. What do people admire most about my power one? What do people admire most about my power one? You got the three of wands and you got the king of pentacles. So right off the bat, I'm feeling like people, yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, people admire that you take your time. Um, you grow with ease. I think that's what people admire most about you. You're in no rush um, to grow things. To um, yeah, I'm definitely getting to grow things. What do people admire most about my power one? What do people admire most about my power one? Okay, two of cups, wow. People also could admire your loving nature as well. Your soft nature, people could admire that. People could also admire your ability to move on from things, to walk away from things. Also to plan things, people could admire that as well. You could work together well with people as well. People um could admire that as well. What do people admire most about my power line? You could be easy to work with. What do people admire most about my power line? Oh, that's way, way, way too many. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, you got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're you're very, you're a very very stable individual. People could admire that, or at least you come off this way. Um, I'm hearing advice. You're also very well at giving um, advice to people. You're non-judgmental. You're non-judgmental. What do people admire most about um, my power one? Yeah, with the strength and the empress coming out, you're very strong. You could be a, a, a woman watching. You're very strong. I don't know what you've been through. Because <laughs> you got the king and queen of pentacles coming out. So you, 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 you have a fine balance between your masculine and your feminine energies. Then you got the empress. You could be a mom. And then the strength. You could have been through a lot. You could have had to like leave a lot of like stressful hurtful um situations it could have came off as as though you did it with ease even though walking away from anything isn't necessarily easy especially when it's something you care about or someone you care about but people admire the fact that you i don't know you just make things look easy you're easy to talk to people admire your strength okay there's the five of cups coming out and death and rebirth at the bottom people also could admire your um ability to transform not necessarily a situation but you like you're able to change things up switch things up nothing nothing really uh keeps you down yeah my phone keeps going off nothing um it, people love talking to you people admire just 
the conversation, um, what you've been through, you could you could express that to other people. Like I said, you're very non-judgmental as well. And just your ability to transform, like from anything. Like people look at you as a very transformative individual. You could be a, a Leo, any earth sign, mainly Taurus, I'm hearing Capricorn, definitely a Scorpio, a Cancer, I'm hearing Cancer. What do people admire most about one? It's too many as well. You're very lovable as well. What do people admire most about Pile One? What do people admire most about Pile One? Ah, too many. One, please. What do people admire? Thank you. <laughs> Said one. They gave me exactly that. The Six of Wands. You're a very victorious individual. Like you, you yet yeah, with the Ace of Cups coming out again. I seen it when. The Ace of Cups wanted to come out when I said um, just one, and I was going to say, you're very lovable. I, I don't know. You're very, I can't get my words together. Like, I'm speechless. <laughs> like, people really admire the hell out of you. Um, people admire your ability to want to succeed in life. I could say that. Like, you, you, you just want the best, and not just for yourself, but for everybody. And you just make things look so easy. <laughs> And you could really be a light in people's lives, lives without even knowing it. I don't even feel like you know this for real, for real. What do people admire about my power one? Yeah, with the star. You could be an Aquarius. You're a very hopeful individual with the page of wands. You're a very hopeful individual. People admire that. I don't know. You could pray. I'm hearing religious, but I, I'm hearing pray. You could pray a lot as well. People could admire that. What do people admire about my power one? With the Queen of Swords coming out and the Nine of Cups. I'm hearing content with oneself with the Emperor coming out. You could be an Aries watching this. What do people admire about my power one? What do people admire about my power one? Again, you're, you could be very non-judgmental. Yeah, with the higher thing. You could definitely be super religious. You could have the gift of gad. People could admire that as well. Yeah, with the ace of swords at the bottom. Now you could really calm somebody down. People could admire that. You can get people out of like strenuous situations. People could really admire the way you talk as well. Like, you know how to finesse some things for you and for somebody else. You could be a Taurus, like I said. Um, what do people admire about my power one? What do people admire about my power one? People could also admire that you're a very hard worker with the will. You're a very hard worker. People like people could also like to watch you work as well. People could like the work that you do. People admire your ability to grow something out of nothing as well. You could be an entrepreneur watching this. You could want to start your own business. Go for it. What do people admire? With the sun, go definitely go for it. If you want to become an entrepreneur. You could also just light up people's days. People could admire that as well. Like you're, you're always, or most likely, I wouldn't say always, but most of the time you, you, you have a very uplifting and positive attitude towards life in general. What do people admire about Power One? What do people admire about Power One? With the Queen of Wands coming out. You can be very independent as well. You could take care of yourself. I'm hearing sexy. People could view you as sexy, too. I know that's not how people view you, but you could keep up with yourself. People admire that. What do people admire about how what, one, with the Seven of Pentacles coming out? With the Hermit. You could also be very quiet it's about um, like different things you're working on. Like You could surprise people about different things that you work on. People could admire that as well. You could be a Virgo. 
I'm hearing office. This could be people at your office. You could work at like a like a desk job. Last few messages. What do people admire about my power line? Last few messages. With the magician. You, you can people admire that you could whip some shit up. <laughs> people admire that. Again, you could be an entrepreneur in Aries. Oh, power one. You're pretty decent. <laughs> decent power one. But um I hope you power one enjoyed that. Hope it made you feel good. Uh, this would have made me feel good. But um yeah, if you liked um, the video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and definitely let me know if it resonates. Again, thank you for even just watching the video. I really appreciate it. All right, if you chose pile two, um, this is the Golden Will Tarot, and this is your reading, okay? So let's get into what do people admire about you, pile two? Pile one was pretty, was pretty dope. Um, and then, but let's see what people admire about you, pile two, okay? What do people admire about my power too? What do people admire about my power too? So you got the Queen of Wands with the gold. The Six of Swords. What do people admire about my power too? Six of Wills. The Two of Swords. People could admire your ability to not stay stagnant. Like you, you don't care. Not like in a bad way, but you know how some of those people where they don't let anything or anyone get in their way. Like they, they don't. Yeah, power to you, you. Yeah, people could admire. Like you don't, you don't stay stuck. In a mindset, you don't stay stuck. <laughs> What do people admire about my pal too? Like right off the bat. With the death, yo, with the death coming out. Like you, you will end, you will end whatever it is. If it's conflicting towards you and what you got going on and your growth and your mental health is deaded, especially when it comes to your money. You can be very financially independent. It doesn't even have to be very, like you just don't, you could not like to depend on people and people could admire that i'm hearing and this could have been since a very young age like you could have been very you could have been like that that child that was like independent you get what i'm saying <laughs> you get what i'm saying but i hope that just made sense what do people admire about my power too what do people admire about my power too the two of wills coming out what do people admire about damn, my power too the six of wills I mean, six of wands. <laughs> Again, if it, with the seven of swords, yeah. You're a beast. I'm hearing that. You're very fine as well. I'm hearing strength. What do people admire about my power too? What do people admire about my power too? Yeah, you will leave people out in the cold if you have to. For the betterment of you, like I said before, like you and it's not a bad thing. You just don't want to be stuck. Like you go after what you want. You create your own lane. You create your own world, pal too. You can create uh courageous. You could also be a creator of some sort, because I was about to like slip off my tongue. But what I wanted to say was courageous. People could see you as victorious, like a winner. If you um if you know Zanique, listen to um Winner by Zanique. Uh Z O N N I Q U E. Um it's called Winner. Messages for uh Pile 2. How do people admire Pile 2? With the Hierophant. You could be a ball, some type of leader with the Ace of Cups. You could also read tarot as well. People could admire that. You could be some type of spiritual leader. People could admire that as well. I'm hanging in touch with God. 
What do people admire about Pao Tzu? What do people admire about Pao Tzu? What do people admire about Pao Tzu? With the three of wheels coming out. And the temperance. You could be some type of healer as well. People could admire that. You could work or want to be like a doctor yeah, or like a nurse. You could be a doctor or a nurse. What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? With the Ten of Wills. We bring people ultimate fulfillment, like happy with the sun. This could definitely be your family as well, admiring you. You could be very loyal. People admire that as well. People could consider you to be very loyal. Very, very loyal. People could consider you to be very loyal. People could admire the fact that you're... I, I, I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. But people could admire the fact that you're very loyal. Signs. Uh, Leo. Any earth sign. A Scorpio. A Sagittarius to be specific. But in a Taurus. Again, any earth sign. I'm hearing Libra as well. What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? You know, with the nine of swords in the world, with the star. People could also be um, admiring. This could be your group of friends admiring this as well. Could be admiring the fact that um, you could see past like confusion. Like people could admire that. Like you could break down um, a confusing situation, something that's meant to confuse others. You could break that apart. You could break that down to make it very simple. Like defuse the situation. Ease. Excuse me. Like with ease. I'm so sorry about that. You could diffuse the situation with ease. People could admire that. I'm hearing combative. You could work with like combative anything, children, animals, um, elders, anything of the sort. What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? With the hangman? What do people admire about my pal too? People could be admiring that you're very... Oh, you could hold people's secrets. People could be admiring the fact that you could hold secrets. I'm hearing you're not a snitch. I don't know. You know, the Queen of Swords and the Moon coming out. You could hold people's secrets. You could definitely be a Libra. What do people admire about my power too? People trust you. Yeah, you know, with the King of Wills and the Knight of Swords. Definitely, people feel like they can run and tell you stuff, and you can definitely hold on to it. You could be an earth sign watching. What do people admire about my power, too? What do people admire about my power, too? With the high priestess, you could be some type of I am hearing psychic. Yeah, people definitely admire the fact that you can, you can hold water. Like, like, your secret is safe with me. What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too, please? With judgment and a page of swords at the bottom. What do people admire about my pal too? What do people admire about my pal too? Ooh, with the Kino ones coming out. People could also um, admire your relationship. You could be in a relationship right now. And people admire your relationship with your partner. I'm hearing idolize your relationship with your partner. My fault, y'all. I got a phone call. But yeah, people could definitely like idolize you and your partner's relationship. They could admire you guys' relationship. You guys could have been together for a long time. Y'all could even be married to one another.
Yeah, y'all two could have been like, um, you two could have fixed like whatever issues you two had and it could have been like very public in a way. Like people could have known about you and your partner's breakup, but y'all were able to like flip it, get back together, fix things. And people admire that as well. If you have a partner, take that. If you don't, you know, if it doesn't resonate, don't, you know, don't make it fit if it doesn't. Yeah, with the Ace of Wills, with the Four of Swords, you were able to fix you and your partner's relationship. I'm sorry, like that phone call like threw me all the way off. What do people admire about my pal too? Yeah, with the Hermit, you could be a Virgo. Yeah, with the temperance and the star. You have a very, very significant healing ability. People admire that. You're able to heal a situation. Yeah, pal too. That's definitely what I'm getting from this. Your ability to heal. Pal too. Yeah. Um... So that was it, Pile 2. I hope you guys enjoyed your pile um, and enjoyed the video overall. And if you did, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this was actually pretty, this was pretty cool. And yeah, definitely let me know if the um, messages resonate with y'all or the piles resonate with y'all. Again, I would highly appreciate that. And yeah, thanks for taking the time out to even, like I said before, watch the video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, bye guys.